We are going to break the process of choosing and working with a research topic into four steps. The first step is to figure out what you want to spend time learning more about. Sometimes the professor gives you a list of pre-selected topics and you have to choose one, or you're given some direction about what you should choose. But a lot of times you're sent out there and told to write about anything. Talk about finding a needle in a haystack. This week is about figuring out how to narrow in on something that will not only make a great research project, but something that is interesting and relevant to you. You will be your own magnet. So why do you have to choose a topic again, especially for this class? Well, your final project is to turn in an annotated bibliography with at least 10 sources based on a research topic that you choose. This is an example annotation here. We'll talk more about this soon. You'll also be doing a narrated PowerPoint based on this topic. Pretty much everything we're going to work on from here on out is finding research in books, journals, and via Google on the research topic that you choose this week. But there's so much out there. Potential research topics are everywhere. The news, magazines, your social circle, your work, and so on. The big ones have been the subject of intense debate for decades. There is certainly a lot out there on these topics, but I would encourage you to explore issues that aren't on the front page of a newspaper or at the top of the news. The smaller text includes additional topics that may not be talked about as much, but could certainly make for interesting research. I don't have a preset list of topics for you to choose from, so you're pretty much going to have to come up with one on your own. This is something that you'll be working with the rest of the semester, so I want you to take your time this week in selecting something you actually want to learn more about. If you're not into a topic, it's going to make the process of researching and writing terribly boring. So when you have the option to pick your own topic, go with something you want to learn more about. First. What are general areas you're interested in? Something like health topics that cover diseases and conditions, issues related to families like children, divorce, step-parenting, or even environmental or political issues. Then, think about what you've experienced or what someone close to you has gone through. Maybe your child has ADHD, or you have a family member who's been impacted by cardiovascular disease. Also, think about what's going on in your life right now. Maybe you're a non-traditional student who's coming back to school, or maybe you've struggled with depression and want to know more about handle the stress you're going through. Look within yourself. You've got plenty of interests, I'm sure. On the flip side, don't choose something you couldn't care less about. I will not be doing research on mathematical theory, as math makes me break out in hives. If you're still having trouble coming up with a topic, that's totally okay. There are resources and tools that can help you choose a topic if you're completely stumped. Talk to your family or friends. Ask what they would find interesting. Look through newspapers, magazines, professional journals, or watch the news. What's going on now that would make an interesting topic? There's also tools available, some through the library and some out on Google, that list topics that you can browse through. I've included links to a few of these on this week's Moodle page. Okay, so I do have one requirement for those of you going into health careers. You have to pick something that's related to health or medicine for your topic. I'll be teaching you how to search the health sciences databases, so you need a topic that will work when searching these sources. Honestly, this doesn't really limit you that much. There's still a ton out there. And it can still be something that you have a personal interest in. Previous students have done research on diseases or conditions their loved ones are living with. Many have done research on public health issues like smoking, vaccines, and exercise. And there's no shortage of professional issues. Those of you working in healthcare facilities might find this especially useful, such as doing research on how to combat burnout, how to deal with compassion fatigue, or how to work with hostile colleagues. A good strategy is to start with something pretty broad and then brainstorm possible associations. Don't hold back. Write whatever pops into your head when you're thinking about these topics. This is the first step in taking a big area of interest and making it into something that you can actually do research on. In this case, I'm interested in learning more about online education because I teach online and I've never actually been trained in this, and I don't have an education background. I think we can all agree that writing a paper on the very broad topic of online education might be a bit much to bite off. So I'm just going to think about other topics that could fit under this heading. These are some of the issues related to online education that I'd like to learn more about. 
And here's another popular example. A lot of people are interested in complementary and alternative medicine. Again, this is a great area to start with, but you need to start thinking about exactly what under that heading you want to focus on. So maybe you already have a great topic choice in mind. Awesome. Or maybe you have no idea what you want to research. And that's okay. That's what this week is designed to help you with going from a blank slate to a beautiful topic that you can live with for the rest of the semester. Here's what I want you to do for this first step. Yes, just stop and think for a bit. What broad area are you interested in? Don't know? Then browse through the sources I put up on Moodle. Something will jump out at you. Once you have a general idea, go ahead and post it to the first forum. There are a few specific questions that I want you to answer. These are all listed in the forum. Next up, we'll talk about how to find some basic information, also known as background information, about our topic.